Hello second graders, you are on Math Module 6 assessment and you've just completed it and maybe you're a little confused and not quite sure what to do on the test. Well, I'm here to help you out with that. Um, module 6 is all about arrays and arrays are rows and columns that make either a rectangle or a square. If there's any of the pictures that are left out, then it's not an array. It has to be equal of both. Okay. Repeated addition is taking the rows and repeating them and adding them together to get a total or adding the columns to get a total. Odd or even is a number is odd if it ends in one, three, five, seven or nine in the ones place. A number is even if in the ones place it's a two, four, six, eight, or zero. Another way to do this is to pair up the pictures. If you pair each one of the pictures up and there's none left over, then you know it's even. If you pair them up and there's one left that cannot be paired, that's the oddball, and we know the number is odd. So let's take number one for example. Does this picture show an even or an odd number of red dots? Odd or even? Well, we could count them. And I'm going to drag a little text box here. Make it a little bigger. All right, let's see. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let me just put that number up. 15 dots. I'm going to look in the ones place and notice that it's a 5. Well, any number that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9 is odd. Now let me show you another strategy. I talked about pairing up. Let's pair the... I can't pair these dots, but what I can do is X them out. Okay? So maybe I could do a little shape here. And I can kind of cover them up by twos. So I'm going to cover up those two. Those two are paired up. I'm going to cover up. Let's just copy this. And do a bunch of them and drag them up. And I'm going to start over a little bit so it's less confusing. All right, so that's your picture. I'm going to take two of them, pair them up, and cover those two. All right, and I'm going to cover these two. I'm going to cover those two. I'm pairing them up. I'm going to cover those two. I'm going to cover those two. Oh, might need a couple more. I'm going to cover these two. And I need to cover another two. I'm going to rotate this thing around 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Cover that up. Okay. Now I covered pairs. And this one has nothing to pair with. It is the odd person out. So this number is odd. And we figured it out two ways. Write your answer in the box. I guess I could just bring this over and say this number is odd. Now we need to explain our thinking. So you could explain it either way. The picture is odd because 15 has a 5 in the 1's place value that would be an acceptable answer or you could say I paired the objects up and there was one left over okay so that would be an acceptable answer answer as well Okay, now if I covered all the pairs up and there was one left, or there was none left over, then the number would be even. Number three, create an, a star array with four 
rows of 2. And we've given you this little picture here that say rows go um, sideways or back and forth this way. Okay, and I've also said to my students that remember that if you're rowing a boat across the lake, you would go be going across the lake. You wouldn't be going up and down. Okay, so rows go side to side. Columns, like columns of a building, go up and down. All right, so we need four rows of two. All right, I'm going to show one row of two. That's one row of two. I need four rows of two. So I'm going to grab some more. And these little red lines line them up nice and neat. So I can just use the red lines. And that is two rows of two. This is three rows of two. And looks like I'm not going to have room, but I'm just going to put it up here. Okay, I'm sorry for this being messy, but it is what it is. This is four rows, one, two, three, four of two. And this one says, write a repeated addition sentence to go with your star arrays inside the box above. Now, since I have four rows, I'm going to need four blanks. What I mean by that is this row has two. Shift plus the plus button gives you a plus, plus another two, this row. Okay, then I'm going to do this row. Shift plus button, two. There's my third row. And shift plus button, two. There's my fourth row. So that matches, and that equals two plus two is four. Two plus two is four. Four plus four, I know my doubles fact, is eight. Okay, so here I'm looking, and I said four rows of two, so I have to match, match that picture. So the rows, I need four spots to fill in. Two plus two plus two plus two. Okay, that's that slide. Now let me check this one. Number five, draw a rectangle or row with the 12 tiles using only three rows. Okay, so I'm going to do three rows. Now this may be a little confusing. It may look like one column here, but this is actually three rows. So one, two, three. Now you don't need to show this, but I'm going to put a line. Through this. Right there. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to copy. Now I'm just showing you that the rows like this go side to side and I'm going to put them right through these squares to show you that I have three rows. Those lines show three rows. And I'm going to keep filling in one at a time until all 12 are gone. And you could Put these really close together if you'd like. The problem with these rows is that. I'm going to have a little gap there. So there's another set. And i got to do all 12. So I'm just going to keep going row by row. Okay, and that is all 12 tiles using the rows. Now I could, I would probably tighten those up so there wasn't any gaps, but that's how you go about it. Write in a repeated addition sentence in this box. So I'm going to double click. Well, I have three rows. And how much is in each row? Four. Four plus four plus four. There's all three rows equals 12. <clears throat> Number seven, complete this array by dragging the tiles over. Okay, so this is a good one because I have to complete the array. This is not an array because you're missing all of this. Remember, an array has to be 
uh, rectangle or a square. So I'm going to drag it and just line it right up. And do the best you can. I'll fill that column first. I'll fill this column. And I still got these two spots to fill up. It's got to be a perfect rectangle or square. And that is a good rectangular array. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. Write a repeated addition sentence in this box. Now you could do this by columns or by rows because it's not being specific. If it said do it by columns, it would be a different repeated addition sentence. I like to stay consistent and just do it by rows. So how many are in each row? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to write four plus four plus four equals four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is twelve. Okay. Now if this question specifically asked for columns, it would be something different. Let me just show it. If this asks for columns, I would do, ooh, there's a column of three, 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 three plus three plus three plus three. So it would look like this. Equals both 12, but different if it asks for that. But that's not the answer to this one. Well, I guess either one would actually work because it's not being specific. Okay, but you just need to do one. Two groups of 8 equals what? Okay, so I, we're supposed to bring over, the, over these smiley faces. So I'm going to distribute them evenly. So I'm going to take one smiley face, bring it over, and I'm going to say 1. I'm going to bring the other one over to this oval and say 2. This one, 3. 4. Five, six, seven, eight. So I've done my two groups of eight. Hmm. I'm going to change this because if I did two groups of eight, I would have to have eight in each. I'm going to change this just as demonstration because these ovals are too small. Oops, I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to change this to two groups of four, okay? You are not allowed to change these, uh, I'm assuming, on your test, but this is two groups of four. If I did two groups of eight, there'd just be too many smiley faces in there, okay? So two groups of four equals eight. Another way of saying that is two times four equals eight, okay? So that's how to do a test like this on module six of second grade. Okay, hope that helps. If you're watching my video for the first time, please like and subscribe. Talk to you later.